It's so funny, somebody said, Tyron, you ducking Robbie. Yeah, because I definitely did knock him for 47 seconds. Man, I'm, uh, I'm so big money. I'm, I'm, just, you know, what people I'm sprinting from him. It's like yeah. all of them will say that shit, but it's like, so you willing to, you willing to risk I did it all right. I did it a couple times. Money, and, um, yeah, I can't do it anymore. I gotta, money, gotta make sure. Yeah, I know you guys got a lot of questions about. Right, this right here. A lot of questions about my hand. And, uh, me not fighting June. And, right? They're gonna reschedule. I don't know if they're gonna reschedule me and Robbie for a different date or if they're gonna actually. You know, Get him a real pony, but you know, I gotta make sure I protect my hand. So I make the money work, okay? I'll be confident on my money maker, um, my right hand. So I talked it through the last fight, guys. A lot of fucking tape, a lot of, um, a lot of avoidance. And then um, this time around, I just, I just have to be honest with myself, the gripping, the grabbing, the posting, the pushing off the strength, snapping, all of the above was uh, a little bit more difficult. So. I'm gonna make sure that I put myself in position to be successful at the end of the day. Um, I'm gonna get that belt back, you know? I'm gonna put myself in the best position to do that. So they get a ton of beer. This one came as a surprise to Tony Ferguson and Donald Cerrone. This one was issue 38. I got a text from my friend, my, so uh, Eddie Bravo, Rogan, and Cal and I have a group. And I, I think I was on stage when this guy announced, but they sent me a text that that was happening. My first reaction was, why, Cowboy? He's never going to learn. After he just made that statement about Connor or the title, otherwise he'd be super disappointed. Now, that being said, if it wasn't short notice, I'd love this fight. Tony Furs and Cowboy. But also, I, I guess for for Tony Ferguson, who's always been like, dude, I'm, I'm not going to fight anyone else on your title. I guess since he's dealing with that kind of outside the cage drama, this is the next best thing. Um, I just, I just hate it for Donald because he definitely took damage against Iquinta. That's definitely for sure happening. He's never gonna learn, man. I, I think it's, it's gonna be the one caveat that always cost him his career. But maybe there, maybe there's more to the story. We don't know. Maybe he told Donald, "I right, just fight Tony. We'll pay this much, and then you'll get a guaranteed title shot, or uh, you get a guaranteed counter fight if you win this one." I don't know. Yeah, because they had to make, they had to add on to this card. So adding them on helps out a ton too. Cejudo, Marlon Marais, I love. They're great fights, but nothing's like, whoa, amazing. Cejudo, Marlon Marais, I absolutely love. That will sell 10 pay-per-views. Um, Tatiana Swarza versus uh, Nina and Serov. Tatiana's going to mop that girl. So, and then you got to do Tatiana versus fucking... Andrage. That's a fight. I think, again, I'm telling you guys, I'm saying this for a long time. Told her this on the food truck. Talk to you. Andrage. Mops the floor with it. Get the food truck <laughs> pole, dog. I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem for her. That card's actually pretty good because Tai Tu Obasa versus that uh, Ivanov. A lot of good fights. Fun fucking yeah, fight. A lot of good fights. There's a lot of great fights, just not a lot of spectacular. Whoa. But that's, again, so when we go, man, there's not, there's no star power. That's not the model. Yeah. Anymore. That preview model is done. As a fan, this, I love this. This is the best card I've seen in a long ass time. Ricardo Lamas versus Calvin Gator, ridiculous fight. Sterling versus uh, Pedro Munoz, amazing fight. Carolina uh, versus uh, What's that Grasso? guy piece. Yeah, yeah. Grasso. Ty Tuavasa, Jimmy Rivera. Tatiana, Tony Ferson, Shevchenko, and Cejudo. This card is stacked from top to bottom. It's gonna sell 20,000 pay-per-views. Who gives a It's fantastic. We're not, who get, we shouldn't even look at the views anymore. It doesn't matter. If we're basing, if whether the UFC is good based off views, then you're, you're just gonna hate on the UFC for the rest of your life. The pay-per-view model and views is out. They don't care anymore. That's a great card. Sweet. And then you talked about this already, but Dana White posted this. Diaz and Pettis for UFC 240. Who else is on 240? At 170. Here's 240. Oh, cool. Oh, 241, yeah. Oh. And th so they got DC Steve Bay, Yo Romero, Paul Coast, and Costa, and then Pettis Diaz. Yeah. I didn't see it was at 170. 
That's like the pattern. It's true. I like pennants at 55. Whatever. Uh, it's a good fight. Oh, that's one. But uh, yeah. another one. This is so. This is what I was. The 240 when I was thinking. I would assume with Diaz having a fight, Tony First having a fight, could be being lined up with Bray. Their chances of getting Connor out is just, it's like all, it's, I, they're not even close to this man. Because he's not even conversations anymore. So they must be like, I think the UFC is fine. Like, all right, we got to move on. He's not, he's not playing ball at all. Uh, Ortega versus Zabi. It's in talks. They're the rumors. That's what I hear. It's, it's happening. Yeah, it's okay. happening. Great fight. I, I, lo- I like it. Cool. And on that card, too, uh, this is also from that guy from Flow Combat. This right here, Bobby Green, who talked about retirement, is supposed to in talks to fight Mike Perry. All right. That's a fun fight. All right. What else you do? Uh, no one can use All right. <laughs> this happened. So, Ben Askren and Jordan Burroughs. You know, everyone. Imagine Jordan Rose is gonna win for sure, but he really like he pretty him. much destroyed him. Man. I mean, yeah, I think it's tough with Ben if you're not doing. It, it's just tough. It, it's the same thing as like uh, guys going with the boxing, or you know, this is well, at least the kind of. I was gonna say this is no different than really Connor trying to. Like that's all Floyd does. It's one of the aspects of what you do, even though you have a heavy background in it. But it, unless you're ingrained in it, because Jordan Burroughs is the best of the best. So, I mean, he's he's in that, man. He, he's on that circuit. He's the best wrestler in the world. It's just, you're not going to come in and beat that guy. It doesn't hurt Ben Askren's legacy or anything. Boss of that guy. And look at his, what he says here about, he did a lot of, like, backhanded compliments to the Ben Askren to make himself look better. Something Ben said at Sunday's press conference that really resonated with me. Stepping up to, to a challenge doesn't mean just saying yes when you know you can win. He said, but saying yes even uh, when you know that you could get your respect. Yeah. Talking about yourself. Uh, and then, of course, this happened. Dana White said he'd be interested in Jordan Burroughs. I, I, I feel Jordan Burroughs is more of a Bellator move. He, he, Jordan Burroughs is on the DFC. They're going to throw him straight to the walls. It's an ego thing. They're like, oh yeah, gold medal. Check this out. And give him some nightmare matchup for no reason. Bellator would be the way to go for him. What else you got? Um, um, you already talked about this. Report UFC 236 may have come under 100,000 miles. Yep. That's a report from Dave Meltzer. Yes. Wrestling Observer. And I'm earning 70,000. Uh, this... I found interesting. Dazone said that 1.2 million subscribers worldwide watched Canelo and Daniel Jacobs. Mm. But in the States, is roughly 700,000. But they wouldn't say how many viewed, which I don't know how they can get that, but as far as subscriptions, they said 1.2 million people saw it. Yeah, I don't know. People saw complete shit show. 1.2 million people were disappointed in the production. That's what it should say. It yeah. was so bad. It was pretty bad. Oof. Um, this, you talked about this too, but like it was up in the air. We didn't hear no, much about it for a while, but Artem Lobov and Paul Mo and Andre now set for... It's in Tampa now. Tampa. June 22nd. Um, that's cool. I, I hear they, they struggle with getting, um, like, off the, the commission, but uh, getting uh, medical. Like, no oh. doctors want to do it. <laughs> So we met the doctor who's going to be the doctor for the Tampa one. And he was saying, like, especially in, they're supposed to do in New York, right? It's a problem because it, the, the cuts are so mad. Like, so it's not the knockouts, right? So people for a long time like, oh, they should take the gloves away from UFC. You can't do it because guys' face get so fucked up from all the cuts. Yeah. Sometimes the best guy doesn't win because their hands break and it's just cut. So for the doctors after the fight, it's a nightmare. So he's they they have a hard time finding doctors who want to deal with this. I will watch them. Chris Levin, Brendan Ward. Johnny Bedford, ex UFC guy too. That's cool. All right. There's this. Aaron Pico left uh, Team Body Shop in Lakewood to join Jackson Wink. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. 
and you know his hero is like Dorsey here. That's one of the reasons why too. Yeah, it just seems like yeah. I think it's gonna be good for him. Not cool. Yet. Um, let's just do. How about this? Give me two more. Two. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video, and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.